Welcome to Spark Tank. Spark Tank is a student incubator for new businesses, nonprofits, and ideas designed to improve our community and school. Today in the tank, we have two groups of entrepreneurs looking for advice, mentorship, and money to bring their creative partnerships into the marketplace. Let's meet the judges. Liz Lang, founder of Liz Lang Maternity, the largest maternity apparel brand in the United States. She also has an exclusive clothing line for HSN and was named one of Time Magazine's most powerful female entrepreneurs. Dave Lindsay is the founder of Defenders, the nation's largest ADT security dealer, plus the Super Service Challenge nonprofit, which has raised over $15 million for local charities. James Chang is a portfolio manager at a $28 billion family office, focusing on public and private equity investments, primarily in the Asia Pacific region. First into the tank, we have Kate, who will be presenting us with a plan to evolve her 10th grade personal project, a Harry Potter themed magazine, into a club for publishing fantasy magazines right here at school. Lots of people are fans, but I am a fanatic about Harry Potter. So I made a magazine exploring lots of different things about Harry Potter. I explore the myths, the characters, the themes. So I want to create a club at Dwight, similar to the current literary, literary magazine called Scintilla at Dwight. And so my idea is to produce two magazines per year, each magazine to focus on a different subject about Harry Potter. It's whatever the club, the members of the club feel it should be about. I have at least 10 students who would be interested in joining for middle and upper school if this were to become a club. The reason it's called a fantasy club is because even though there's a high potential popularity for Harry Potter, I want to create a fantasy club to connect Harry Potter to potentially other fandoms, for example, the Lord of the Rings, to interest other people in writing stuff about it as well as reading stuff about it. If we were to produce a magazine two times a year with 40 magazines at $20 per magazine, that would be $1,600 a year. For the illustrations, there's an existing Timothy Howe's Harry Potter art club, so they could obviously make drawings for us. I also want to try paying a professional illustrator, so at $40 per illustration two times a year, that would also sum up to around $1,600 per year. So the total budget would be $3,200 per year. So we can't sell the magazines if we make them because lots of the words are copyrighted, but we can share our knowledge of Harry Potter and other fandoms beyond the Dwight community. Thank you. I mentioned there's a lot of other Harry Potter clubs. With some of the pieces that are in this magazine from other clubs, or might you get material from other clubs? I'm just thinking of collaborating, I guess, yes. is where I'm going with so that. so I haven't come across as amateur level of clubs as we're talking here but okay. for example Pottermore the site run by J.K. Rowling about Harry Potter they have a Wizarding World book club which I took a lot of the information from for the mm -hmm. magazine and then research from the podcast you know this is a great piece I don't know if you'd want to send it to maybe the person who does the Harry Potter podcast who knows maybe they want to have you on their podcast I'm just thinking of networking and getting this in more people's hands I totally get what you're saying about not wanting sort of very amateur looking art in your magazine, but if it really is sort of for the Dwight community, I guess I was thinking there could be something very nice about um, really mostly using Dwight artists, and that might save you a bit of money, but, but great job. I would echo particularly Dave's comments around thinking about other ways to potentially distribute this content. I'm sure there's a lot of global Harry Potter fans. If you've got interesting different content related to Harry Potter, um, if you can distribute it through some of the new mediums like live streaming or video or Instagram, et cetera, you might be able to develop a following and then actually, you know, start um, potentially developing a revenue model on that. But, you know, outside of that, it's, it, it sounds like you put, and it looks like you clearly put a lot of work into this. So, congrats. Next up, we have the governing body of the Dwight Business Investment Club joining us for their fourth and final time in the tank. These three seniors are hoping to attain the fifth and final launch stage before graduating and handing the club off to the next generation of investors. So we've gotten funds from the Dwight Foundation. We've started investing and we're here to present to you on um, our goals that we've either accomplished or failed and uh, what the future is looking like in the club. So uh, we actually went to uh, lots of morning meetings and sent out lots of emails to get uh, people from your on your grades interested. We eventually gained uh, uh, around seven people for the club. So uh, for the future government, uh, we want to ensure that next year we have a stable government that can take over the club and ensure that it continues to carry on. 
Uh, and so we had to institute a new system of uh, co-presidents. In terms of goals reached, we set these goals uh, during around the second or third stage. So initially we decided to invest 80% of our capital. Um, this, however, did not work out. We only had enough time to invest 48% uh, out of the 10,000, but uh, we didn't want to rush anything in terms of investments. We wanted to make sure we were careful with what we were doing, and we wanted to be careful with our money, obviously, that we were allocated. The rest of our investments have all been kept for around four months now, and we intend to keep them throughout the summer. We're not going to sell these over the summer, and through the majority of next year. So that's a good sign for the continuation of the club. In our opinion. Uh, so being that this is the last presentation we're going to make, this is stage five, uh, we'd like to thank all of the judges here and that have been here in the past for the help and um, all the tips they gave us to, towards making our uh, club a lot better. We are proud that we were able to accomplish this much uh, throughout this past year and a half and it's been a really cool experience for us and we definitely won't forget it. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, I can't say enough. How I, I'm, you know, I, I sound like a parent here, but I'm really <laughs> proud of you guys. Um, we wanted to thank you because, uh, like, your initial advice for us on pivoting our methodology, methodology in analyzing stocks really helped in uh, buying the stocks we needed. And you know, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I did that much, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, thank you for that. Uh, I hope you guys continue to pursue this passion um, even after you leave here, um, whether it's as a profession or a potential profession or whether it's for yourselves. Um, I think investing is, is a great you know, life lesson to have or life talent to have. So um, congrats. Major companies often have trouble sort of with succession plans, with what they're going to do when the founder can no longer be there. And you guys are young and you handled it so well that you already have a team in place that's already investing, that's doing so well. I think that would have been a big question for me, like what is going to actually happen even with the best of intentions when the three of you graduate and leave for college. So I'm really impressed with that. Congratulations. It's been fun to walk through this with you guys. You know, um, I'm just so proud of you. And this is a legacy you've left to the school. You took something and revived it. You've improved it. You've left the school better than you found it. Thank you guys for that. Just a final thought. Uh, we're talking today about getting more students, and you guys have, have led the way again there, uh, bringing uh, an underclassmen to join the club. And um, we learned something from you there, too. So kudos. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you.